Good morning. I'm Reverend Wilma Wake, and I'm delighted to be here with you this morning. It's a, a beautiful day here in Maine, and um, it's, it's nice to be starting it with you. Let's begin with a brief prayer. Dear Divine Love and Wisdom, please help us to feel your presence throughout the day and help us to use your presence to guide us into a path of love and wisdom throughout our day. Amen. <clears throat> now, it's very nice <coughs> to be here with you today. One of the things I have been reflecting on lately are the many joys of growing older. And now at 75, I realize one of the things I enjoy about this age is I have so many memories of so many things, and I've experienced so many things that younger people have not, and it feels important to me to be able to share from the wisdom and experiences I have had, one of which that has come back to me quite vividly with the recent Supreme Court decision uh, that overturned Roe v. Wade was remembering what it was like being a young woman, uh, married in graduate school, and very aware that I did not want to be pregnant at that point in my life, and I did not feel I could complete graduate education and be a mother. But I also knew that um, abortion was illegal and very, very difficult to find an abortion. And I remember living with that fear and that anxiety that I, I could have, um, I could have a choice taken away from me. That there would, if I became pregnant, there would not be a legal way to choose an abortion. And there might be some illegal ways, but they were very risky and very scary. So I have been very happy through the years to know that it has become a constitutional right for all women. And I feel very sad now to see that that has been overturned. One of the concerns I've had in discussions about it is the extent to which it has been intertwined with religious beliefs. Recently, uh, there was an interview on Sunday morning with the president of Union Theological Seminary in New York. And Union Seminary is now um, been combined with Episcopal Divinity School, which used to be in Cambridge, and that was one of my seminaries that I attended. And both Union and EDS had very um, open and socially, uh, socially significant views about society and integrating those views with our spirituality. So recently, on Sunday morning, the president of Union Theological Seminary uh, came and was interviewed about abortion from the seminary and religious point of view. And she did a, a very good discussion of the Christian uh, history and that uh, theologically um, it has not been a part of the mainline Christian doctrine that the fetus was a human being, um, that, that this it was all very recent, and in the past it has been a social political issue, but it has not been the religious issue that it is today. And I was delighted to see in um, a recent email from Susanna Curry, the chair of the Council of Ministers, um, showing us a resolution that was passed by the Council of Ministers in 1969 which was basically affirming a woman's right to choose an abortion um, under circumstances that it, it was needed and was therapeutic and, and so forth. But this was in 1969. This was a year before Roe v. Wade. And it, it makes me proud to think of my denomination as one that took a stand on this issue a long time ago. So my thoughts for today are 
to remember the joy of being alive. And I, I think for me, part of my joy in remembering how things used to be before Roe v. Wade and how they were during Roe v. Wade is just my commitment to the importance of ongoing social change and that my spiritual life is very intertwined with my social life and my community life. And it feels important to me that I live my day with that knowledge. So I wish you uh, a wonderful day and uh, peace on your journey. Oh, and Coco Puff also wants to wish you um, a very good day from her dog perspective. So blessings and goodbye.